Do you like free stuff just for playing a game? Well, stick around. What's going on, everybody? In this video, I'm going to go over Freyna's Vault Shop, the new event in The First Ascendant. And it's easy as two clicks and you're signed up. All you need to do is go to tfd.nexon.com. Okay, once you get to tfd.nexon.com, over here on the right, there's an event tab. You can pull down to the Freyna's Encrypted Vault Shop. And the first thing he's going to have you do is log in. When you click the login button, you have a few options. I've been hearing a lot of issues with this Nexon ID login and people losing their progress. I'm not going to get into all that, but at the end of this video, I do have a resource that explains all that. I'm going to log in under Guest Play. I'm on the PlayStation Network, so I'm going to select the PlayStation Network tab. And as you can see, now that I'm logged in, my account is linked. You can see that I have a remaining 30 points and I've earned 35 so far. Pay attention to this event period and shop availability because any points you earn expire on November 6, 2024. When you scroll down, step one, view missions. Step two, encrypted vault shop. Over here on the right, you have main, how to participate, missions, and encrypted vault shop. Like any Korean game, they do these type of events on the web browsers which I personally like because you can either do it on your computer or you can do it on your phone. Once your account is linked, you don't have to log back into the site. You just have to log into the game and play. Under the missions, you can see they have each week. And you can see that those missions don't change. They also have week to week, week two, week three, week four, week five. And as you can see, those are not changing. As you scroll down to the weekly missions, you can see that I've completed both of these for this week. Log into the game three times during the normal event period. Complete a normal or hard mission one time with Bunny or Ultimate Bunny. However, if we go to week two, you will see that the weekly missions do change. Complete a normal or hard mission one time with Bunny or Ultimate Bunny at level 40. Complete normal or hard mission one time with Franer or Ultimate Franer. So it's nice to see that the weekly missions do change. Further down, under the Encrypted Vault Shop, you can see all the items that you can purchase for the points that you're earning. Here's a nice one, Crystallization Catalyst, but you can also buy all these support materials. They have weapon materials. You can see what weapons are supported, and you can purchase those materials if you can't get that elusive blueprint to get those materials. A little further down, they got your Descendant Boosters, your Weapon Boosters, your Gold Boosters, your Kuiper Boosters. Looks like you can even buy some Gold and Kuiper if you need it. As you can see, I did purchase one booster for a descendant. When you do make this purchase, it ends up in your mailbox and it just shows up and then you have to select it. And then a little further down, they have code analyzed and code breakers. I think these and the crystallization catalyst are where I'm purchasing first. As you can see, you can only get two, three, four, two, three, four. So they do limit these. These are limited by a whole lot more. This is unlimited. You can only buy two each of these and these are all unlimited. So far in the short life of this game, I'm very happy with the way they handle the content, they're keeping the game fresh, and I'm very interested to see what comes in the future. I appreciate you watching this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, leaving a like, and a comment below of what you think of the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. If you'd like to ask me questions live, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I also have a Discord, the link is in the description below, you can join that and ask questions in there as well. And here is that resource I mentioned earlier, check out Dry Beer Games right here and he goes over all of the login information and how to get your account back if you lost your progress. If you're like me and thought this website was really cool and how they set up for the event, you should check out this video about a website that helps you with farming.